Hello. Today we'll be working with the ideal gas law. This law states that pressure times temperature equals the moles times R times temperature in kelvins. Pressure in either ATM, K, uh, ATM, it could be on millimeters of mercury, it could be also on KPA, volume must be in liters, moles, R is a given value, constant, and temperature. The R is a constant that is dependent on the pressure. It must be on either ATM, KPA, or millimeters of mercury to work with R. Volume must be in liters, moles is moles, and T, temperature must be in kelvins. Question says, in a 25.3 liter container, there's a gas with a temperature of 802 kelvins and a pressure of 3.65 ATM. How many moles are there? First things first, I must make my list. Pressure, volume, moles, R is a given, and T. Based on the question, my pressure is 3.65 ATM. My volume is 25.3 liters. My N is the question, how many moles are there? My R is a given value of 0.0821 when I have ATM. And my T temperature is 802 kelvins, nothing to convert over here. So I make my list. I've made my list and this is the equation PV equals NRT. I am looking for N. Therefore, I will bring my T and my R down equals N. Now I have pressure times volume divided by divided by T times R equals N. That's what I have now. Plug in the values. Pressure times volume equals my, my R times my T. Temperature. Multiply the top, divide by everything at the bottom. Make sure you make the right calculations at the bottom. And that gives me an amount of volumes of 1.40 moles. That gives it 1.40 moles. That is the answer. I repeat, I had this. I had PV equal NRT. Solving for N, I bring my R and my T down to leave N alone. I am now solving for N. 3.65 times 25.3 divided by 0 0.0821 times 802 in this case equals 1.40 moles is the answer. I hope this helps you.